Happy Monday. These are my um, high-end palettes, or what I consider high-end. These are my Anastasia ones. I will show them to you, but I'm pretty sure I'm not decluttering any of them. This is the Amarizi. I love this palette. Ones I'm not decluttering are going to go over here. And ones I declutter will go next to me over here. This is the Soft Glam. Some of them are like messed up a little bit. This is the Riviera, one of my favorites. The Carly Bible, very beautiful one. Subculture, I know a lot of people don't like this. I love this one. Modern Renaissance, the first one I have Anastasia's I ever got. The Norvina. The um, Jackie Ina one, I believe. I love this one as well. And then the Sultry. This is like one of my favorites. All right, Natasha Denona. We're not going to get rid of any of these either. This is um, the Mini Lila palette. These colors are just... Um, I tried to get that one for the back to school giveaway, but it was sold out. Um, this one is the first one I ever got. This is the Mini Sunset palette. This color came in broke, but they are so soft that I was able to actually put it back in like it was nothing. All right, and then we have the Mini gold palette i mean look at these they are if you've never felt natasha denona's shadows i still don't agree with 129 dollars for a palette <laughs> so okay um this one these are oh for shadows in here and i'm not 100 percent sure try those mats again. I might have to try these again. I'm not 100% sure I want to keep this. So this is a baby. I'll keep the magnetic part. All right, Kylie. Jason got me these for um, Christmas. This is the Momager one, which I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I haven't had a problem. It is very cool toned, um, but I like it. This is the um, Pressed Pigment Powder Palette. I believe this is the purple one. It doesn't have a name on it anywhere. Yeah, it's the purple one. I love purple. Purple is like my favorite color of all time. It's a little powdery, but I love the colors. All right, and then we have Sippin' Pretty. That was her 21st birthday palette. So we got those. They're very pretty as well. All right. And I believe Eric's back in the house. So I'll pause him dressed again. So we will get back to what we were doing. We have the Huda Beauty Ass Sapphire Obsessions. I use this mostly um, for a pop of blue. Or when I'm doing um, looks for autism awareness. It's a really pretty palette. Put it back in its little thingy. Alright, and then we have the purple one. Like I said, this is Amethyst. I love purples. And Jason picked this out. They're very pretty. She has some a really good shadow formula. Alright, and this is the Smoky Obsessions. I got this from, um, I wish I could remember her name. I love her on the Instagram. Eve. She was selling some mystery boxes and I got one. And this came in it and I love it. Let's make this easier. This is the only Dose of Colors one I have. And I'm keeping it. I love this. This is like all mattes. Um, Smashbox. Three of them. Let me grab my wipes. I haven't decluttered anything yet. I'm sure it's coming now. All right, this one is the Cover Shop Canyon Cover Shop Canyon Eye Palette. I don't reach for these, so I'm probably just gonna pick the one I like the most. That's the Cover Shop Canyon one. This is the Ultraviolet. 
You know what? Those are very similar tones, aren't they? They're not like totally similar, but I don't need too many just purplish palettes. And I'm going to keep the Huda Beauty one. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this Smashbox one. Sunlit yellow. Let's see what this color looks like. I think we'll just go ahead and keep both of those actually. Um, this is my only hip dot one, so I'll be keeping this. I really do like this. I love the formula. I'm going to keep this one because I just got it and I love it. This is the Too Faced Christmas one. It's like a total face palette. You put this in a suitcase and you're good to go. You've got the highlight, two highlighters, two blushes, and a bronzer. And then all those colors. So we're keeping that one. Just got this one. Love this. It's a perfect little travel palette as well. Um... Peanut butter palette, I don't reach for this, and I kept it in the last declutter, and I haven't reached for it yet. I love it, but chocolate bar keeping. It's like a cool tone warm palette, um, neutral palette, I mean. Um, white peach. I don't find myself reaching for this one. But it is very pretty. Think about it. Um, these two I'm keeping. This is the raspberry one. I love this color right here. It's so creamy. Look at that. Oh, gosh. I love that. This is the pineapple one, similar to the one I'm giving away in the giveaway. Well, the exact one I'm giving away in the giveaway. Such a pretty color. My favorite one in this one is this one right here. It reminds me of the glass bowl color um, by um, ColourPop. Gonna keep the chocolate gold palette. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Just got this one, spicy gingerbread. Going to keep that one. The sweet peach one. I love this palette. I'm going to keep this one. The white peach palette. But I don't reach for it. Do we need to keep stuff we don't reach for? Because I reach for the other one so many more times than I reach for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it. Pretty Rich Too Faced palette. I love this one. Jason wanted to get this for me. Every time he went to go get it, it wasn't there. We're going to keep it through another round of declutters and see if I could get some use out of it. This one, part of me wants to keep it celebrating 20 years. The other part of me knows I don't like it. But the colors are gorgeous, but I think this had a lot of fallout at first. Now it doesn't. Look at that. It's definitely got stain powder. Power. Um...
see if we could get some use out of it. I think I said that last time and then I used it and it actually worked really well. Um, I'm gonna keep that one. We're gonna keep this one. Jason got this for me. It was a surprise. Huda Beauty New Nude. I love these. I love these shades that got the pearl in it. They are so pretty. Um, this is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Valentine's Day gift to myself. Keeping that one, of course. We're going to put that down there. Laura Lee, I'm keeping all her palettes. This is the um, Christmas one. This one is the Boss Babe. As you can see, I get use out of these. And then we got the Nudie Patootie. Love this palette. It's got a hair in it. Um, this is my only Dominique Cosmetics palette, Celestial Storm. So we'll be keeping that one. These colors are really pretty. Look at this blue one right here. Alright, we can actually make it easy again because I see the Strawberry Dream by Manny. This is the only one I own by Manny and I love it. So we're keeping that one. Poxy Charm. I did like this palette so I'm keeping it. This is the first um, high-end eyeshadow palette. Jason got me. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3 Rose Gold Edition. Love it, love it, love it. And it's still good. So, Shared Planet Absolutely Polar Bear Collection. So keeping this one. This one is so good. Love this palette. Um, this is the only Private Society one I have. So I'm keeping it. I love their cosmetics. This is the only mellow eyeshadow palette I have, and I love this. This formula is so good. Look at that. They are so pigmented and so beautiful. And I'm not sure there it is. I need another white. Urban Decay, Born to Run, love it, keeping it. I love how the mirror does like that, or you can move it. Urban Decay on the run. I don't reach for it. So we're going to go ahead and declutter that one. Beached Eyeshadow Palette, love this one. Jason got that for me as a surprise one day also. The first Urban Decay Naked Palette, of course, I'm keeping it. The Urban Decay Ultraviolet, I'm keeping it. See, those colors match that other one, that Smashbox Purple one, a little better, so that actually worked out. The Naked Cherry, love it, keeping it. And the Naked Heat, keeping. Laura Lee Cat Pajamas, keeping. Moon dust. I think I already have one that's brand new on my Poshmark. I need to reach for this one. So I need to put this one somewhere where I can try it a little more often and see if I like it. Right now, it just like a, I got like really sparkly hands. Right now, it sits in the drawer, so I need to remember to move that somewhere else. Urban Decay Element Palette. This is a beautiful palette. I love this. It's got one, two, three matte shades in it. That are actually pretty decent mattes. That can build up to a beautiful color. And then it's got all those shimmers. Okay. This I just got. So we're keeping this. This is the one Jason got me that looked like a snowman for Christmas. It was so cute. This one I've had for a minute. This is I Believe in Pink. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I don't find myself reaching for this one. Super Fun Night. Natural Beauty. Um, best Year Ever. 
Um, I do reach for this one sometimes though. But I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. These are all Too Faced. This is my only Violet Boss, The Essentials. Um, Tartlet Tees. I love this for when Jason was working out of town. I would go, I would take this with me as my eyeshadow palette. And this is the Tartlet. I also took this one with me. It's got the blush, bronzer, highlight, and then it's got the eyeshadows over here. Um, Wander Beauty. Just got it. Gonna give it a couple more tries. I do like it. I just think it needs more mattes. Jason got me this one. This is the Tarte Remix palette. I love this palette. Um, I don't reach for it that often, but I need to. Um, the Tati Beauty one, definitely keeping. So keeping that one. Put it back in his dust sleeve. The Iconic London. It's too bulky. And I have these shades, as you can see, in a ton of other palettes. So I'm going to um, sanitize it and sell it with the rest of these. Um, I love this palette. had this for so long, as y'all probably know. And these shades are still awesome. That's the, one of the first ones Jason got that me for. Got me that. Um, at the same time, he got me the rose gold one for Christmas, and I love it. So, I don't know how many we're keeping. Quite a few. The only thing I do not think is fun about this palette is trying to get it back in there. All right. We are decluttering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten for decluttering ten palettes that is pretty good because these are ones i never wanted to let go of before so we're doing pretty decent considering so the next one will be um some of my um drugstore palettes because i have a lot more low-end priced palettes um i'll see y'all in the next one bye